wow. <clears throat> um, I feel first of all, I just want to say I feel so. <sighs> the way I would have folded JT, like Karen's lawn chair that she sat on watching Little Billy's soccer game. The soccer game is now over and she's folding the lawn chair to put it in the trunk to go home. The way I would have folded JT to that capacity, the way I would have wrapped JT's ass up like saran wrap, the way I would have balled JT up like composition notebook paper from a high school student's backpack, the way I would have packed JT in someone's backpack, the way I would have tossed JT like a frisbee, the way I would have turned JT into a stop sign, the way I would have threw a street light at JT, the way I would have wrapped the lamp cord around her neck, what the damage I would have done to JT if she took my phone like that and thought that she could go through my phone and de- and literally like scroll through my, fo- my phone and delete the video. You know what I'm saying? Like those glasses would have been knocked off. That um high ponytail or whatever the fuck she had in her head would have been knocked the fuck down. Uzi would have had to basically resuscitate the bitch like he would have had to airlift her because there's no possible way i have never seen nothing like this in my life i promise you out of all my whole years my 30 years of living and seeing celebrities get upset like i've seen a lot of celebrities get upset before fans right most i've ever seen is like you know if a fan literally like reaches and grabs them or whatever now you invade in a personal bodily space like if you touch them and they pop back okay like there's nothing that you can do it's a lot of weirdos out there that really be touching these celebrities like these people aren't people like you know don't touch me i would feel the same way but this girl is literally just recording and you're a celebrity you know this right you're being recorded by everybody um, and you're going to snatch the girl phone like you in Miami. This is what I'm talking about. This is that gutter shit. This is that slum. This, this is exactly what I'm talking about. When I, when I call JT a slum bitch, when I say you could take the hood out the, you, you could take the bitch out the hood or you could take the slum and pro, you can take the bitch out the slum or the projects because there's a lot of hood bitches that get that got sense. Me, I'm one of them. Ghetto proper. That's what I describe myself as, but it's a lot of slum gutter just unpolished sewer rat has have no type of sense or class type bitches gutter slum bitches project pat rats like jt you could you 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 could take them out the hood but you can't take that slum gutter ass wretched ass nasty ass attitude and mentality out the girl this is beyond disrespectful and i feel so bad for the fan because the fan really honestly was apologizing and was like i'm sorry did i make you mad like i didn't mean to she's recording you and it's like what were you like first of all if you were i'm thinking okay like what what could what could she have been doing or what could have she been recording? What, a conversation? She can't hear what the fuck you're talking about because everybody's basically loud as fuck. You at an outside event. So if you feel like you saying something private and she's capturing it, I mean, that's not possible, I don't think, because it's loud as fuck. She's just recording JT, the, the rapper. So if you don't want to be recorded and you noticed it, you could have said, um, sweetheart, can you please stop recording me? Can you please stop recording me? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have... I, I mean, I, I could see if like she had a phone in her hand and she was looking at her own personal private photos and the and the fan was like right above her recording it. Even in that situation, I would have got up and said, um, excuse me, you know, you, you recorded my private, you know, phone um, information and pictures like I, I, can you please delete that off of your phone? And I'll just stand there and watch them delete it if it's like a personal thing they record above me in my phone and it's like I'm scrolling like maybe a nude or a picture of me and my man or something and they record my phone my gallery or something but it's like there's nothing I could even think of to there's no excuse for you to do that who the fuck are you to take somebody's phone bitch this ain't Uzi this is not Uzi you don't you don't run people and you don't have the right to you know take somebody's personal property they could record whatever the fuck they want to record it's a free country they could do that and when you sign up to be a celebrity you know that's basically what comes with it you know what i'm saying if you don't want to be recorded you tell them that because that happened to um, a lot that happens to a lot of people where they don't want to be recorded they don't want their family to be recorded and they just speak and they don't touch but for you to snatch somebody's personal property and you think that's you you act like you pay the phone bill or whatever, and you take the phone 
Bitch, I would have popped the shit out of that bitch. We would have been fighting like cats and dogs. I would have folded that bitch up like a motherfucking ironing board. I would have ironed JT the fuck out. I would have creased the fuck out of JT like she's fresh out of the dry cleaners. I don't play shit like that. Like, bitch, you could be slum bitch all you want to. You can be JT the rapper all you want to. You can think you can think you are whoever you are all you want to. But but please believe those glasses are going to be on the floor. Your wig is going to be on the floor. Your body's going to be on the floor. Your dentures, they're going to be on the floor. You're going to need a whole new motherfucking implant of veneers. Bitch, I'm going to knock you back ugly because you just got pretty a minute ago. What time is it? 7.43? 7.42, JT got pretty. She used to be hit mugshot mugshot look at him disgusting now it's 744 it literally just turned 744 you get pretty you don't know how to act snatching bitches phones up bitch you'll get snatched up bitch you get you act up you get snatched up this is an act up moment and this is the, the exact moment when she literally lucked up and found the right fan who basically you know apologized and was nice about it but there are people like me who would have been like oh, who you think you playing with Bitch, and the, what's worse is that I'm from Miami just like you. You would have definitely got walked like a dog and a cat and a raccoon. I would have raccoon walked JT. I would have fucked her shit up so motherfucking bad. Like, bitch, as soon as she would have... Da -da -da -da, you could pop at me. You could yell at me all you want to. That's fine. I'm a very classy woman. Okay, you don't want to be recorded. That's cool. And I'm not even like that type of person. Like, I don't care about celebrities like that. Like, celebrities are regular people. Like, what? Like, they're normal human beings. People need to stop, like, you know acting like they're not regular so if if for example if for any reason like if i like a bitch hair i said well i like her hair i'm gonna you know record it or take a picture of it whatever if i were to ever do anything like that which i wouldn't and jt took my phone like that and started going through my phone bitch i got i got i got pictures i got stuff in my phone so how do you know i want you jt to see what's in my phone you're not above me you got my phone. You got my pic. I got my. You got my pictures in my gallery in your phone. How you know I don't have nudes? How you know, bitch? I would have, bitch. I would have clocked her the fuck out like a motherfucking. I would have clocked her like it was twelve o'clock. Like, her don't play with me, pussy. Her don't play with me. Don't ever think that. Don't ever abuse your celebrity. This is abuse of celebrity, bitch. You think you in Miami? You think you could just do whatever you want to do? You forgot. You think that basically because what you you a celebrity or. Not, not even that. You basically that's that 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 hood red ass mentality. You basically you still have not developed um etiquette or a decorum. You have not realized and understood that you are a public figure and things like this. You have to prepare yourself for, like. But this is not even about being like. This is basic respect. Like you don't you don't nobody a publicist. Nobody should teach you how to treat people. That's basic like home training. This hoe don't have no home training. And I would have beat the fuck out of her. Hold on, snatch up my phone like that, bitch. I'll I'll fold your ass up and pour that Red Bull all over you and embarrass the fuck out of you. The headline would have been JT gets snatched the fuck up by a motherfucking civilian. Like, hold who the fuck you think you is? And that's what I'm saying. Bitches is miserable. She's miserable. Who you know happy act like this? I have never seen Cardi B act like this. Only time I saw Cardi has never acted like this. I've never seen a celebrity do this, period. I've seen celebrities go off, like I said, but I ain't never seen a celebrity snatch a bitch phone up and go through that bitch like it's their phone, like on some entitled shit, like as if they pay that bill. Like, I've never seen that before. I'm like, wow, that's not even funny. Like, I was looking in the comments, like, I'm, I'm trying to see, like, is there anybody ignorant that's going to find this funny? Because, you know, people, you know, they be finding shit funny, like shit like this funny. And it's not cool to treat people like that. You feel me? This is basically mistreating someone and treating someone that was that has the right who's not touching you they're away from you and they're just recording you they have the right to do that you take their personal you invade their personal space and snatch up their phone and you treat them like some kind of peasant and it's like that's when you knock that's 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 how you knock that's how bitches get beat the fuck up okay that's how that's exactly when you knock a bitch back ugly like bitches be feeling themselves like and that's why i say what i'm gonna say i'm gonna say this um, she's not happy. She's not a happy person. Okay. I've been said that just because these bitches get rich does not mean they're happy. She's in a relationship. That does not mean her nigga love her or is faithful to her. Everybody just found out like probably weeks ago that, you know, star brim was, was walking with Uzi and they all, they in a full blown, in, in a full blown relationship. And even in her lyrics, when she did the F nigga free, when she, that bad, that, that's that trash ass verse she did on fuck nigga free. She started off with, I don't give a fuck who he fuck with. Uzi cheat. How he cheated on Britney 
And JT was Uzi's side bitch to Britney. Britney was the main bitch. Britney left and Uzi put JT in main bitch position. So basically, JT, you lose him how you get him. So if he's cheating on you, you should know because you were the bitch that he was cheating on Britney with. Like, you're not new to this. You're not new to this. This is not your, you know, like, first go round or anything like that. Like, you know what's up because you were the bitch that he was, like, fucking with. Like, you know, you were the disrespectful bitch that was disrespecting Britney and their relationship. So, like... Uzi doing whatever he doing. I'm 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 thinking like when I see a woman this nasty, it's like bitch, you got PTSD, you need therapy, you got childhood trauma, you got motherfucking issues that you got daddy issues, you got all types of fucking issues that you have not resolved. Plus your nigga cheating on you with bitches that look better than you, with better attitudes, and you know. Plus, you know, people in the industry, you know, um, or people in the public world, they know you fake and phony. And, you know, plus, you know, you lost friends and you lost, you know, business relationships in the industry. So it's like a lot of stuff I could think of that's going on that will make somebody so nasty like this. She is nasty. Like angry for no reason. Like, look how angry she is. I, there's no reason to be this angry. You look good. You're rich. You got a big Cuban. You got two fat ass Cuban links around your neck. You got Cuban links around your wrist. You are supposed to be, you are blessed with money. You know, a lot of bitches are like really struggling. You call bitches broke all day on live. And I bet you none of the bitches that you be calling broke on live is as miserable as you. I'm telling you, the most richest bitches or the bitches that be, you know, y'all be looking at on TV or y'all be looking at on the internet, they be the most motherfucking miserable. And JT even said to herself one time, when I did at one time like the City Girls, before I found out how like slow they were, and I was like, uh-uh, I don't like these bird bitches. Like, they do bird shit. Like, I don't like that. I don't support that bird activity. Like, chasing dick, like, selling pussy, tricking all day. Like, they lost me at Diddy. Like, once I saw the bird behavior behind Diddy, like, when Carisha was, like, chasing after Diddy like a dog, and I saw, like, wow, like, you really tricking. Like, you really trying to come up off a billionaire. Like, you're not trying to be self-made and, you know, like, get your own money, get your bag with your talent you want to be like put up and you want to use a billionaire for financial security and you know you jt like you doing the same thing you with a nigga like you don't care if he cheat or not because you basically want financial security you don't want to go back to the projects once i saw that bird shit like once i saw their motives and stuff and who they are as girls and me being from miami i was like okay they they dumb type of girls like they them they dumb i ride past bitches like that and i ride past them like i don't live in it i don't i didn't grow up in the hood right these are the bitches when I was a kid, I rode past these bitches in the car headed home. Like these are the slum bitches I used to ride past. They walking barefoot and I'm in my mama car, you know, we ride it home and they barefoot acting a fool, fighting, talking, chewing gum, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Gum don't even have no flavor no more. It's still chewing it. JT act like very much the girl that chews the gum even after the flavor leave. That's a ghetto ratchet ass bitch. Anybody who chews gum after the flavor leave is a desperate broke bitch. So it's like you got this broke bitch that get rich who got all these you know issues and demons from you know childhood and is hurt inside maybe no mom no dad she said she was a runaway she got a lot of demons so she's angry and it's like bitches they're not they're not going to therapy to fix their demons right and then they become celebrities your demons and your problems do not go away just because you get money so this is an exact this is an exact example of how money don't change you like money does not change your attitude your spirit your heart people are who they are you feel me? Bitch, I would have slapped my phone down my phone. I would rather it fall than for you to take my phone like that. And if we finna fight, we finna fight. We're gonna fight and I'm I'ma fold you up. I'm and, and and it's not because I'm bigger than you, it's because simply because I would have put in all my strength. I would have put in all my strength to stretch you the fuck out like a rubber band. Like stop playing with me, little bitch. Like you could never grab my phone like that. What? And I feel so bad for the fan. The fan was so polite. Like, you could tell they weren't even trying to do no harm. Like, bitch, who are... What? So, anyways, like I said, childhood, no therapy. And then it's, like, recently, like, you know, her nigga cheating on her. She's miserable. People be looking like, you know, relationship goals. And, you know, they be at the house getting their ass beat. Cheated on left and right. Um, And then it's, like, you know... Um, they getting embarrassed publicly, you know, you got bitches like, you know, and they nigga not even publicly apologizing about the shit, you know, niggas just do whatever they want to do. Cause it's like, whatever, they don't give a fuck, you know, that's what Uzi do. And so 
And then on top of that, she's losing business relationships. And then on top of that, she's facing public scrutiny because of her fake ass behavior towards her peers. She got all that going on. And I think that that's why she unfolded like this, because even her friend next to her was like, what the fuck? Because you don't treat people like that. I cannot even believe. Bitch. <laughs> I would have. Girl, I would have. Oh, I would have. Oh, God, why wasn't it me? Why wasn't it me, God? I wish I was in that fan's position. I would have taught her a lesson. I would have put her in the hospital and Uzi would have had to pay the bill. Most definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because ain't no way. You can't do that to me. You can't take my phone like that. You could never do that to me. I don't worship the... I don't, I don't think celebrities are any more are any more than me only thing is they they famous that's it and they got more money because they are entertainers entertainers make more money than nine to five workers but you are not above me you are regular just like me i will beat you the fuck up like she could never do this to me never never like ho why are you so mad like who is who upset you why are you so bitch you are rich why are you this upset what did this person do to you to feel for you to feel so upset and what were you doing that that you did not want to want to be recorded whereas you can't just get up and say sweetheart i don't want to be recorded why couldn't you just do that why couldn't you just turn around and say sweetheart i don't want to be recorded can you delete that video let me look let me see can i can i i'm gonna just you know come up and i'm just gonna look at you delete the video okay cool boom they deleted boom but why would you do that like wow there's a way you do things and it's like this right here is not it This bitch really took this girl phone. Like, she think that this is Uzi. Like, she think that, that this is her nigga. Like, she could just, like, this her friend or this somebody she know that she could treat any kind of way. Well, I mean, well, that's that's my thoughts on it, guys. I was just scrolling through the timeline, minding my business, and I just saw this. And I'm like, JT seen snatching a fan's phone and deleting the photo that she took of her. It was a photo. It wasn't even, like, a recording. I thought that she was recording so, bitch, she took a photo of you? You are a celebrity. What do you think the fans do? Bitch, like what? I thought I read it wrong. I'm thinking, I thought it said she re she deleted a recording. This is a photo, bitch. So, like what? You not famous? Wow. I don't care how ugly you think you look or the angle you think that she took you or whatever the case may be. I don't care about that. It it, it don't if you secure I don't care. I would not care if a fan took a photo of me because I know I'm a public figure. I'm not gonna be mad a bitch take I see a fan taking a photo of me. I look up and she's taking a photo of me. I expect that. I'm gonna just make sure my phone is like, you know, turned over so that she won't take pictures of my personal phone or whatever. But I'm not going to stress or be upset that someone's taking a photo of me when I know fucking good fucking well that I'm a public motherfucking figure. Bitches, you stupid. Bitch, you a bird. Like, that's a bird. Did she a bird, bitch? Goodbye. I'm done. I'm I, I, I'm sorry, guys. I read it wrong. I thought I thought this was a record. I thought it said... I read it too fast. I thought it said JT snatches up the fan phone because of a recording. Like, I'm thinking of recording. What is she recording? Like, is it a combo? Is she mad at a combo? Bitch, she not... Ain't nothing dangerous going on. She's taking a photo of you because you JT and you finna snatch her phone. Bird, bitch, please. Bird, bitch. Bird brains do bird shit, okay? And it's like... Nah, I'm not. Mm -mm, goodbye. I, and no, nobody's finna come to your birthday party. You a rude bitch. You a unlikable, disrespectful bitch. Like, bitch, you are dis. You are you are broken. You are hurt. You are a hurt little girl. You are. A, I ain't never seen nothing like this in my life. Even in my real, I ain't never seen a celebrity do this, and I ain't never seen nobody in my real life do this. You are. A, she is a very hurt little girl. Very very broken. Her feelings is hurt, bitch. I don't know who who the fuck hurt you. I don't know. That's gonna be my title. Who the fuck hurt JT feeling? Who the fuck hurt JT in her life for her to act like this? Cause I don't. I would never. I'm a sweetheart. Uh uh. I'm not. Wow.